This is the future. the future hi guys and welcome back to my channel and this is Crip Zone, and this is minecraft the fortress build so in this video we are going to build the marketplace and there's also other options for the marketplace as you can see here according to the manual you can put some decor you can change the way it looks and there's a couple of extra buildings like livestock trading the trade quarters and also dockside trading that you can add so i decided to do all of them so join me on this video and i'll take you through the process of how i built one of the biggest marketplaces that i have built so far starting off with the beginning <laughs> so welcome to market square we start off by just want to show you guys that I extended the walls from the last video and I decided to put some magma stone or magma rocks around my malt just to make it a bit more secure so if the guys want to come in they're going to burn themselves getting damaged before they reach the water and if they are able to cross the water, they'll burn themselves again getting out from the other side. So I didn't want to fill up the whole place with lava. So I just used some magma rocks. And it makes a very nice glow in the dark. I also have to do a lot of terraforming. As you guys can see, the area is very uneven. And this is going to take me a really, really long time. Some of the terraforming I did kind of skip by leaving the inside hollow and the endermen are stealing my blocks. In this case I had to extend the moat and unfortunately it went over my walkway so I had to create like a tunnel so I can still use the walkway and the rail system to go underneath. On this side as you guys can see I extended the walls and I'm going well I was about to build the second towers. Uh, every 30 blocks or so or 30 meters I build a guard tower so this is what it looked like at that point moving a few hours later we have completed the basic marketplace build this is the first one in the book that shows you the basic layout and the sizes of the marketplace the market surface area is 18 by 18 blocks and I used that 18 by 18 blocks to create all the other four or five market spots. As you guys can see, I did try and level out the area. Unfortunately, that means that there's a lot of hollow spaces underneath um, where there's still monsters and stuff spawn a few from. hours or almost a day later. We finished the second marketplace which includes a wishing fountain so this is my wishing fountain it's one of the decorations and a few stalls and some trees that i planted i did realize that i should have moved the fountain maybe more to the left or the right but before i built any of the stalls the fountain was in the center and the rest of the stuff just filled up so much that i couldn't do proper planning so this is how it turned out but it's fine you can move around it I'm happy with it. Next up was the trade quarters and the animal trading section, the livestock trading. And um, they also turned out quite nice. But this towers, not so much. I realized too late that the left tower was built one stone too close. I had to break up the entire tower to move it one stone further. As you guys can also see here, I filled up this area already. So now it's filled up, at least from the outside. Underneath, there's still a lot of hollow spaces. because I don't have time to waste too, too much to filling up everything. And there's this enderman that keeps on stealing my stones out of the side walls anyway. So see, look at the gaps because of what the endermen are doing. They keep on stealing, opening up gaps. 
I also proceeded to add the external steps to get onto the wall to make it or uh, to give the soldiers quicker access from the outside to reach the balls and the battlements if needs be. Forward another day later and this is where we are. We've got our trade quarters at the top. Going down into the main marketplace. We find the market square. And I've also completed the marketplace here. So all the goodies are in place. So our first stall is a vegetable and fruit place. Where you can find all the veggies and fruit that you want to buy. I also added the banners for some color, which is not part of the original design. We've got a little bit of a water fountain, not a fountain, it's just like a water dam or something there. Water feature. Moving on to the second marketplace, we've got our wishing fountain with the stalls. You can buy some sweet stuff, which is cakes and pastries and cookies at the first one. Next door, you can find some potions. You can also get some weird stuff here, some weird magical items. And some dyes. If you want to dye your clothing or materials, use it for the loom. That's where you can find that. Then we have our trade quarters here where we are trading in jewelry. At the moment outside we are selling some gold, silver, um, jewelry, crystals, gemstones, that kind of stuff. We will sell on the outside. Now one thing about the books, they do not show you what the interior is supposed to look like. So I guess that's up to your own imagination. Also, this trade house doesn't look exactly like the book because the book doesn't show an exploded view of how to build this place. So I had to use my own initiative and build what I could from what I could see on the book from the outside and then just basically complete it with whatever I thought was necessary. So here you have your offices where you can get your inventory of your um, trading stuff and everything. You can do office work here. At the bottom was also an entrance, you can enter at the top or enter at the bottom where there will be a clerk or something waiting for you. The master of the house will be sleeping in his own bedroom upstairs, so I've got a little bit of a step here where he can sleep, just a small bedroom for him to stay in. So this is his bedroom. And going back outside. We will use the back door and go back into the market square. Here we have our first statue, a merchant golem, which doesn't look anything like in the book because I couldn't figure out how they built the top of the statue. The bottom was easy to see, but the top is a mess. So I have no idea how they did the head. So I created a little alien head thingy upstairs. And the idea of the golem is to grant fortune to whoever sells and buys inside this market. Here we have the meat and fish salesman. So we have our butcher that will sell you some fresh meat and fish. And then um, this section is my own design. This wasn't in the original plans. I've got a armorer that sells armor and weapons. And there's some TNT and explosives. So he's not a smith, he's just a seller. We've got this food court with a nice place where you can sit, have some stews, eat something, drink something. A nice little outside area that will serve you some food. And here we have the animal traders or livestock traders where you can sell pigs, sheep, cows, horses, chickens, that kind of stuff. So this will be your livestock 
headquarters. I actually did try and put something in the in the pins, but they all ran out and ran away. So that's why it's all empty and there's nothing in there at the moment. So this is our marketplace. This is all the market stuff, except for the dockside market, which I added the following day, which I'll show you guys just now. But I must say this place expanded quite quickly. This is what I've done for the last three days. Um, on uh, today I'm I actually built the inn as well yet last night, but I'll show you that on the next video. So on the next video we will be doing the taverns, the travelers inn, the boarding house, and um, so on. In this last section, this is where I just added now the dockside traders. Go down. I had to build a path and then also one mistake that I made um, when it comes to the tavern and the travelers in the horses and the guys are supposed to be able to reach the marketplace without any issues and I've got too many steps and stuff so I'm gonna have to create a totally different entrance on a different place of the wall for people with carts and horses to come in that's something I didn't even think about so this is the dockside traders where you can sell your fish, sell some of your goodies, offload your ships. Then we have the harbor master's office, which is this building over here, where you can put in your registries, put in your equipment, your stock. Everything you're going to trade will be written down here, and they will keep stock of everyone coming and going. And then the harbor master will sleep here. This is his bedroom. And this is the place where he will sleep. So this is the docks. I do feel that the docks are a bit of um, an exposed area. How do you defend this area? I did put the two towers there where we can put defenders in there to try and shoot whoever comes in via the sea. And I was hoping that it would be difficult to lay siege to the castle if you come from the sea. That's uh, it's difficult to close off your whole kingdom from the seaside, so that's the best I could do. So as the place expands, we will build the towers further. So if you like this video, remember to subscribe, hit the bell icon for the next video, and give me a thumbs up if you like this video. Whatever you do, keep it safe. Until next time, cheers.